Oh shit, I, I think I'm just gonna stand here the entire day. <laughs> Yay! So let's go unpacking, baby! We need to unpack this son of a bitch. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! A handsome clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Okay guys! We're gonna go with a very stereotypical accent with this guy. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Hi, I'm, I'm Greg. Uh, that's what my name is. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know that she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. <laughs> But between you and me, she just sprinkles the chocolate chips. <laughs> oh, God, no. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Whoa, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a oh. smile. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Da daughters are tough. Like, how do they work? Like, how does a vagina work? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sons are also tough. Like, they have penises, and it's like, oh my god, I have one too. <laughs> Fuck, dude, what am I doing? I'm so offensive. Children in general are just oh, tough. They're so tough. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. I mean, there'd be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, um, I meant, don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is it Miss- Is the Mrs. around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, 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 it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? After a second, I hear a knock on the door, opening. Uh, opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge uh -huh. smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac. Mm, I love the sack. And I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What you say, pal? Oh. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Don't be late, you. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Like, I'm totally straight and I love God. Jesus is my bae. I like, I really love him. I love his muscular mm, body. Mm, just, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in her hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? 
I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Uh, Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we've got a ton of good neighbor points if we're bringing this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in the whole comic sac! We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. I'd hazard a guess. It's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Oh, yeah, it's the Nazi house. You know, the, the Fourth Reich house. Good night, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Hey, guys. Is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. Uh, we just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. They're all quiet. I chuckle nervously. Mm. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I could feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Hmm. Well, that went well. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. Uh, I need to rest my eyes. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many. <laughs> this is so adorable. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Greg, bro! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bro! Bro! Holy wow, I haven't seen Greg in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Hey. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I clean up my act. I'm super Asian, dude. I know you like that. Clean up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude! You probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute oh. baby! Oh, uh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. What is up with everybody being a single dad and everybody having daughters? Seriously. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgsly happy. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and next we're both fathers. Where have you been, man? I was working out in the California, dude, and just relocated the business back in Napa Bay. No kidding. A man and I just moved to this side of the town. How's Smashly oh, doing? Man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashly, and uh, we got divorced last year, bro. Aw, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all co copa wicka wicka. Stop with the difficult ass words! Twins? You have three kids? Oh. Ain't lie something, bro, right? Keg stand Craig is a father of three? <laughs> Keg stand Craig? Oh, uh, yeah, it's been my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Broad river along for now, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I was gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but gave up after 30 minutes and just walk home? Well, it's never too late to get back into that, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't hey. know. 
Come on, could be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch, like the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. Great, let's get that going on soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jocks off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. He said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, He's not wrong. He's like totally different person. Anyway, we better go home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Yay, we did a thing. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into the boxes in a few moments. No, don't say that. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl, and it's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take a lot of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, uh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog! Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get, I get to name it. That's what it cost for me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mill slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shovels through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like my entire future, but no big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admission committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Mm, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. <sighs> Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I can't decide coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admission officer told me they just want to see port portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're gonna be an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school's gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Mm. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yeah. Well, I have to let you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah. yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Uh, I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Gotta attend the union meeting or I'm going club. I'm going clubbing. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Alright, but I'm not gonna come and pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to, uh, go out and watch the game. Nice. Or nice. Which game? You know, uh, the game, the ones that uh, that's on tonight. Aww. The game on TV at uh, somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arts and with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. 
Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up with white collar crime at this point. Maybe money laundering at least. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yeah, Dad. Just making sure. I give her a pat on her head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? <sighs> no, making fun of sports is played out. All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have the meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Ah! Let's go this way. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. Ooh, a big burned out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as the patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I'll pull, I'll pull up a seat at the bar. What'll be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take one sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike. Although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of the town today. I'm Greg, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh, oh, I love that team. And also, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Um, mm -hmm. buy a gal a drink. Uh, don't buy her a drink. Uh, maybe some other time. <sighs> Suit yourself, sailor. God damn it, Mary, sa Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear affirmative grunt from the other man at the bar. It's a brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective team. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his response, an unspoken truce is formed between us, based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks, I'm Greg. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best part in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. 
You like shots? Uh, I like shots. Thank you. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one oh. to me. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look uh. tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Greg, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think I, if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Uh, compliment his cool leather jacket, compliment his rugged good looks, compliment... You know what? We're gonna compliment his looks. Your face is good. <gasps> oh! Thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Uh, my daughter kicked me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. I'm new in town, figured it might be good to put myself out there. You seem pretty cool. The key to being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply down about everything to the point where it's debilitating. Really? Robert downs the rest of his drink. Of course not. He gets up. Be right back. Got a powder my nose. Oh my god, that's... Oh. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha, <laughs> I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then, it, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? Oh god. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. <sighs> I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live here? Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Greg. So, are we going to do this or what? What? You know, you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Uh, smile and nod. Yeah, baby, let's do this. Let's do this, baby. Let's do it. Oh, baby. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closed behind us, he pushed me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Woo! This is pretty game. <laughs> Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up to the stairs into what I assume is his bedroom. But it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again, and I can hear him sh 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 and, <laughs> and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I clumsily take off mine too. His hands roam down my chest, and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I I uh, I don't normally d do this. Do you want to stop? Baby, we're gonna get leads. What? No. Good. <laughs> Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bed. Let's have some fun. <laughs> no way. We just we just had sex. <laughs> my God! What the hell? Sunlight streams in between the slats of the blinds. My head is pounding. Yeah, we did some pounding last night. I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This is my old house. Or my new house. Oh, right. Uh, I'll look around for Robert, but I find myself alone. Hello? There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah, it was. You should go. That's certainly not what I was expecting. Well, uh, talk to you later? Robert cracks a smile. Sure, your clothes are over there. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearingly bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember. Amanda! <laughs> I rush back home and throw the door open. Something smells delicious. Amanda? Amanda runs out of the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. Oh man, I was kind of hoping you had gotten kidnapped and I was gonna have to come and rescue you. <laughs> My god. No, I, uh, 
I made a friend at the bar last night and uh, ended up sleeping over at his place. Uh, where's the Emma's? They left a little while ago. Oh, you guys have fun? Yeah, went some movies, ate snacks, stole a car, you know, usual sleepover stuff. You teens and your larceny! So, uh, this breakfast that's cooking, what's that all about? Well, there's hash browns, snacks, and bacon. Can I? Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. My head throbs. Yeah, just like my dick did last night. Yeah, baby. High five. Mm. <laughs> hey, we, we took bro fisting to a whole other level. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, Amanda, your loving father might have overdone it last night. Oh, somebody's hangover. Father of the year. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or... I've got just the thing. Hang on. Amanda runs to the fridge and pulls out a jar of pickles. Amanda, wait. <laughs> Drink this. The pickle juice? Yep. It's what I used once. Oh, I would assume someone would use... I would... I would also assume that uh, it works pretty well. Although I've never tried it before and won't try it, obviously. Who raised you? Amanda Ann! Or give her a stern yet resigned side eye. Or who raised you? Mm. Um, you did. Right. <laughs> um, do as I say, not as I do. You got it. This better work. I down a sip of the tart juice. No, no, more than that. Way more than that. I mean, I assume. Watch it, you. I drink more pickle juice and help myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and dunking several pieces of bacon into runny egg yolk, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. Whoop! I gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? He said it was important. Love ya! I'll be there. Knock him dead, kiddo. Always do. We do our secret handshake and she's off. I get a little work done at home before I glance at my watch and see that it's almost time for the meeting. I hop into the shower, change clothes, and head on my way, still a little hungover. So I think I'm gonna end this episode here. It's really getting interesting. So I'm really curious of what, what's next, basically. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this game and if you're enjoying it so far. And if you want to see more, so anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. Feel free to share and subscribe. Just great saying that. We love it, guys. And I'll see you next time.